Hello there, welcome to my channel. I'm so glad that you're here. You're probably about to go through your removal of conditions process. I'm definitely grateful that I'm here to help out. So first, before we go through the topic, I want to mention that disclaimer, I am not a immigration officer or immigration lawyer, none of those things. I'm just basically another individual who is going through the removal of condition process and everything that I'm going to discuss with you today, I'm going to share with you today is solely based upon my experience. So yeah, let's go ahead and have some introduction. I want to let you guys know that I came here in the United States of America last October of 2019 and it is through a K-1 fiancé visa. I believe that though I am from the Philippines, this documents that I'm going to mention will be beneficial to everybody, whichever country you came from. So I'm very excited to share that with you guys. I want to share that a year prior to my filing month, my husband and I had been trying to gather as much documents as we can to serve as a proof of our bona fide marriage. The reason for this is because I wanted to make sure that we are going to avoid receiving an RFE letter, which means the request for evidence letter, like what we had in my adjustment status process. It was, it was such a bummer, so I tried to research as much as I can because I really want to avoid that part. So I'm hoping that this time we are able to suffice all the documents they need from us. So the first thing that I did was visit the USCIS website to make sure that I got all the correct information. In this website, you can also see when you can file your removal of conditions which it's actually three months prior to the expiration date of your green card or your law permanent resident card. Please keep in mind that if you are going to file earlier than that, they will not accept your documents. You can also use this website as a reference and a resource for your application form and find all the information you need to know, such as the fees, the eligibility, the kind of supporting documents you need to submit, etc. So let's go ahead and discuss the preparation. So when I was in high school, we always used this folder called clear book. It's the kind of folder that's very easy to use because it's easy to put in and out paper and its transparent packet makes it easy to read the documents. However, I cannot find one in office supply store or even in online. So when we went to Walmart and checked their office supplies aisle, we just did some browsing, looks at folders, and we found something that is very similar to a clear book which is actually much better. It's a hardcore front and back, and then you can also put a letter on the front where you can put your title of what the polar is about. And then it's also refillable, which you can buy those refills from Amazon. So I got very lucky. Unlike a clear book where it's just had a thin plastic front and back. Okay, so when it comes to gathering documents, gosh, it was really a mess. I'm not kidding you guys. I made sure to gather everything that we have and put it all in the sofa. And then I check each page if there is an information or a helpful documents that I can include with my application. Then I use a tiny sticker to label them. When I thought of another document that I can request or I can gather, I would just put a sticky note on one of the refills of the clear book and I would attach it. So when I finally have the document, I will just put it inside. Clips also help me to make it organized. When I'm trying to gather stuff, I just make sure I clip them, categorize them the way I want it to. So when I just go back, I can just put them right away. Another research of mine is that I also watch bloggers 
on YouTube who share their experiences when it comes to going through the process of removal of conditions. I'm so thankful for those people and people who even shared their RFE letters and tell them like, hey, you can add this as an additional supporting documents for your application. Actually, they're also one of the reasons why it inspired me to create this video because I want also to help other people who are going through the same process as I did. So yeah, it just makes me think that, hey, we're all in this together and we hope that we're going to have a great news anytime soon. Okay, let's go to the cover letter part. There are a lot of templates that you can find online. Let me tell you, Google is your friend and it will definitely help you out. So go ahead and research some templates that you think that would work best for you because there's like a, a ton of them. It depends on you and what you will choose. So just go ahead and do it. But I wanted to show you what I got, which is this one. So you don't really need to put two full numbers there but i did it because as much as possible i want to give them both of our contact information in case i wasn't able to answer them then my husband is available then he can answer them then attention to the address you can find this address too on the uscis website i can say that hey this is the address but at the same time what if they updated it so i want to make sure you're going to get the dated address in order for you not to create any mistakes and then the date that we created the letter which is november 4 2022 third one is where i put my alien number and then the fourth one is just my social security number i made sure that the subject and this part is in bold fonts so in that way, it can show that emphasis of this is me, this is the condition of resident spouse, this is permission you might need, and here you go, you can see it right away. And then the next part is, of course, the information about my husband, which is the U.S. citizen spouse. So let's go through the letter. So the first sentence of addressing was whether it's a sir or a madame. We just said that we are filing the form I-751 petition for removal of conditions of permanent resident status for my wife because basically my husband is the one speaking in this letter my wife entered the united states on a k-1 visa last which is the date of when i got here she received her conditional permanent resident card last and close are the following documents needed as well as to prove that we have a bona fide marriage so okay we are going through the documents now the first one that i mentioned is the form i-797 c notice of action so this is the letter that i got from them months prior telling me that hey you need to file your documents soon the next one is of course the money order of 680 dollars for the application fee there's also a check or a money order that you can submit to the uscis just keep in mind when it comes to money orders i had a a little bit of rough time filling out this information because a lot of the things that you can see online or in Google, it's about filling out a check, basically. And I overthink things, but it was about, am I gonna put the US CIS or am I gonna put Department of Homeland Security? Like, I'm just so confused on what to put on the payable to. So I was like, gosh. Okay, we already did it on the first try and then we did it again because I felt like I put so much information on the first one and I'm so worried that after all this efforts in gathering the documents, filing and all that kind of stuff, just because of a simple mistake, my application will be denied. So I'm trying to be super careful about it and Thank God because they finally accepted the one that I had and had no issues with it. I got this from Winco and then it's paid to the order of US Citizenship and Immigration Services. So the next one is a copy of Calculate Your Fees for the Form I-751, G-1145 e-notification of application slash petition acceptance. It is the same one as 
what we're always including with our K-1 visa application in the AOS or adjustment of status application. It's just basically saying that, hey, you want to be notified of any updates regarding your application, then you definitely need to fill this out so we can include you in the communication. The application form, which is the form I-751 petition to remove conditions on a residence. The lawful permanent resident card, aka the green card. There comes the U.S. citizen's driver's license, which is my husband. Also his passport by a page. And then there comes me, which is the immigrant state ID and my passport by a page. When it comes to my passport, I wanted to let you guys know that I was lacking a document when I renewed my passport in Houston. So that's okay. If you have your unmarried last name from your passport, that's totally fine. As long as it is valid, go ahead and submit that. Talk about the evidence of bona fide marriage. And I am going to categorize everything for you guys. So it will be more organized when we discuss it. So the first category is marriage certificates and licenses. So the first one that we submitted is, of course, the United States Marriage Certificate. The second one is the Philippines Marriage Certificate, which, yes, I did request this from the Philippines. So when I went to our government website, there was this thing called PSA Cerberus or Pasabay document, but basically it's just their shipping name where I requested these documents online, you know, to obtain it from our municipal hall, and then they did ship it to me through PedEx. It did cost a lot because, of course, very far place to get it from. Um, I think I paid $120 to $150 for the shipping, and then I also paid sixty dollars i think if i'm not mistaken i'm sorry it's been so long but i did pay like sixty dollars to seventy dollars for the documents itself and i think it arrived two weeks time three weeks times somewhere in between those and then the next one is the united states marriage license and then the last one is the nuptial blessing certificate so the nuptial blessing certificate is not required. It's just another evidence that I included. We received this from a newlywed mass that we attended on my birthday last two years ago. So the next category is the joint United States tax returns. So of course, from the moment I got here up until now, we did have a tax form. We are always filing joint, you know, because as a married couple, we want to. We have 2019, 2020, and 2021. Third category is the joint benefits statement and beneficiary. The first one is the joint dental and vision benefits, which my husband is registered on my benefits for those two. And then we also have a 401k beneficiary statement which my husband submitted his and I submitted mine, stating that we are each other's beneficiary if something happened. We're going to the next category, which is the financial statements. We submitted three months of our bank statements showing that we have a joint account. And then we also have another bank account, which we use for savings. We also submitted a three months bank statement from that one. The number five is the proof of address. So the number one, of course, is a proof that we're living together, which is our lease agreement or apartment agreement, apartment contract. So stating that both of our names are in there and we have been living together. The second one is our three months utility bills. Then we also have the White House letter that has both of our names on it and the mailing address. So a White House letter is the letter that the president has given us. Well, of course, all of you guys too who live in the United States. When it was the pandemic season, 2020, where the government has been giving some financial aid to everybody. Another proof of mailing address is I submitted or we submitted a two medical bills under my husband's name showing the address that we currently live in. And then the next one is the two Amazon 
order details under my name that's showing as the same address as well. And then the last category, which is other supporting documents, I submitted two affidavit letters of support, which you can choose a family member or a family friend. Who know both of you guys can stand as a witness that your marriage is true and they can prove of it. You're gonna create a letter, you're gonna make sure that you have them sign those and at the same time, you are going to have it notarized. We're gonna choose two people because they're asking for two people, at least two people, that's the minimum number. You are gonna make four copies of that so you can keep the other two for yourself in case you need to bring it at the interview. And then when it comes to the fee, I think the bank charges $20, $25. The other person that signed our agreement came in super late. So, and we, we need to rush this because we want to make sure that we ship it right away. We had the person come to our place and notarize it. So we paid really expensive on that, like 70 to $80. I know it's not that rush, but we wanted to submit these documents right away. That way I'm not gonna be problematic thinking about it. It's just so like draining sometimes because there's so many documents that you need to track and so many documents that you need to submit and you just wanna be over it. And then the next one is the airline reservations for a vacation that we had planned last November of 2021. We went to another state and we kept the flight tickets in order to serve as another proof of our marriage. This one is very, very useful, I believe so. I submitted social media posts from the moment that I got here in the United States, which is 2019, 2019, 2020, 2021, and 2022. I did give them a post of my Facebook about us, my husband, like some captions, making sure he's tagged. And then we, I also submitted some photos together. Just three or four photos is enough. I don't think you need to submit a lot of them, honestly. We need to provide some photos of us with other people. So I did submit three of those. But when it comes to your photos, you need to put your alien number on the back so when it gets lost they the consular officer or the workers can find who is it from as much as possible we really want to make sure that our documents can be found easily there's also a page where you can find some tips when submitting your documents which you can find here the last part is saying that we are happily living together and request that this petition be accepted for removal of conditions on the residence of my wife. Copies of documents submitted are exact photocopies of unaltered documents and I agree to submit original documents to an immigration or consular officer at a later date if required. You are always welcome to visit our home should you ever desire to do so. Yours truly, my husband's name, which is a U.S. citizen spouse, printed name, and then on top is his signature. And then on the bottom part is my printed name, and then top of that is my signature. So when it comes to shipping my documents, I just chose the cheapest one because I'm not really in a rush for them to receive it. And I know it's not going to be that long anyway. Like, it will, no problem if it takes a week. That's totally fine. But the good news is that it actually took for only like two to three days and they finally received it because I did receive a text message from them stating that, hey, we have received your application for removal of conditions. After a couple of days, I also received a mail stating that I have an extension letter from the USCIS, which means that even though my green card will be expired in January, it will be extended for 24 months. If I need to travel outside the United States or even just inside in the United States, you know, in another state, I can definitely use that as a proof that my green card is still valid. I think I only need to bring it with me at all times, both original and a photocopy photocopy because what if they want to take it i can just easily give them one so what happens next we wait that's the answer to that we wait and i am not sure until when but i will definitely update you guys on my next video so keep an eye out
I hope this video will help you in getting your 10 year screen card. I really hope the best for all of us. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.